Zane Smith. What's up, everybody? It's Zane Smith here today showing you all my latest thrift store pickups for about the past month and a half or so. Pretty much ever since I've been back on campus, I've been checking out the local thrift stores and uh, I picked all of these items up, but of course, for great prices. First up, we have the Nike Metro, AKA the Dirty Denims. Um, as you can see, because they mimic the look of a washed denim, as you can see by the various colors. And now they, uh, the image or the video uh, looks a lot better because of my lighting. So you can actually see more of what they look like. But this was a shoe I paid ten dollars for. They released in two thousand three, and they're actually very comfortable. So I really uh, do like those shoes. Next up, we have a pair of Nikes. They, these are women's Nike running shoes, and I actually purchased them for ten dollars as well. But they don't fit me. Um, obviously, they're very small. But I purchased these uh, because of the design. And, you know, they look very cool. And I believe they're Prestos because of the woven pattern. But of course, you know, you can't be too sure. So if anybody has any idea what these are, please uh, don't hesitate to let me know. But uh, that's also a great looking shoe, in my opinion. Next up, we have a pair of shoes that I bought just today. These are the Nike SB Dunk High Twin Peaks. As you can see, you got that owl perched up right there. And uh, this is a restoration uh, that I plan on doing. As you can see, it's a little dirty. The suede could use some cleaning. Um, just dirt removal as well as uh, removing these creases from the toe box of the shoe. But these were $7.99, I can't complain. And um, stay tuned for you know that video showing you all my restoration on those shoes. Next up, I've got quite a few button-ups and uh, one polo. And all these prices range from about four to six dollars, you know, depending on brand and the, you know, the actual style and color of the, of the uh, button-ups themselves. So this first one is from Stafford, as you can see. And I really love this color and material. Um, because it, it looks like a denim, as you can see. It's got that mixture of both purple and white. It's a very nice, uh, sturdy and durable material. Next up, I've got this red button up, as you can see, blue lining uh, in the collar, as well as green. And this is made by Bugle Boy, as you can see by the crest right there on the left hand pocket. And then I've got another Bugle Boy button up. This one here is pink. Really like this one. Uh, it just looks nice, especially uh, that green and navy uh, crest just pops out. Next up, I've got a Van Heusen button up. And I know they typically make dress shirts, and I really like my button ups thick, like I just said. And this one is very thin, thicker than most dress shirts, but you know. What can I say? I really just wanted something yellow and uh, I thought this would be perfect. So it was cheap too. So, you know, I can't complain. Next up, I have a Ralph Lauren uh, polo shirt, as you can see. Let me show you the tag right there. It is authentic. There you go with your uh, contrasting color or the same color that matches the shirt. It is a double X. I wear XL, but XL fit kind of snug like a muscle shirt or something and the double X is a uh, bit more loose and so you have your lavender um, horse or you know polo man right there next up going to the big stuff I actually purchased a bike yesterday for twelve dollars and twelve cents at the local thrift store and uh, I do plan on making a few changes to it um, it has a couple problems, like some things loose right there and, and whatnot. The seat is actually very uncomfortable uh, and I want to take off the stickers and either paint it, uh, either keep the body blue or paint it white, but either way I'm definitely going to uh, paint the, the spokes on the rims um, to black and I definitely got to pressure wash the whole thing. but. You know, I've got some nice plans to uh, pretty much customize the bike 
and make it my own and make it much more comfortable. Next up, and last but not least, I have this second monitor right here. This is a 19 inch HP monitor. I purchased it for $7 at my local thrift store. And um, it's, it was one of those things where you just take a risk because it had no cords with it, so I couldn't test it at the store. And I was like, I've got a monitor already, so I have the cord. So I just purchased it and I went out on that limb brought it back to the dorm, tested it, and it worked fine. So, you know, I, I'm really fortunate um, for that purchase. So Zane Smith showing you all my latest thrift store pickups. And uh, I feel that I did really good. I've gotten quite a few things without really breaking the bank. All right, make sure you stay tuned, rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.